Hello everybody, this is Not A Pro Gardener and I'm going to do some indoor growing. Try to grow some greens before the season. Now what you want to do is you want to get some water, boil it, get it to a rolling boil. And I already have my seed starting mix that I made in this metal bowl so it can take the heat. And you want to put that boiling water in here, try to kill some of them fungus gnats and sterilize your seed starting mix, which is important if you're growing indoors for sure. I'm going to take that water, mix it up real good with this dirt, and then I'm going to cover it with some tin foil. And that ought to trap that heat in, and then whenever it's finally finished, we'll come back and seed start. Alright, the water's ready. So you slowly pour it in there so you don't make a huge burning mess. Splash of hurt. Get it emptied out. Get a shovel. Go slow because you will burn yourself with this water top. Get it all mixed up good. It'll start soaking up real quick. And this is enough seed start to mix for me to get probably around two trays filled for the hoss trays. Kind of smash it down, firm it up. Cover it as much as you can. Trap as much heat in as you can. And that'll help deal with sterilizing, killing everything that's in there. You won't have no problems. We'll take this, set this to the side. Now. While we wait on that soil to sterilize and cool off, I got some aluminum trays that we're gonna seed start. I got some Blue Ridge kale, Wasanato kale, Paris Island and Cherokee lettuce, and some Coastal Star Romaine lettuce heads, and some Tatsoi greens. We're just gonna fill these up and start seeding. Alright, now that it's set, we can take this off and get some of these in here. While we're here, we might as well fill up these other trays so they have time to chill. Hot soy greens, about 21 days to maturity. They really don't need to be sowed that deep. Kind of break up the top just a little bit. Just 
just going to sprinkle some out. A couple every inch, just to ensure we get something coming up. Seed to soil contact. Press it down. You want it to contact the soil really well. And then we'll take some uh, top and top this with perlite after. Next we'll do this top bunch 2.0. Some seeds from last year just to see if I can get something going. Doing fewer seeds on this one. Probably like one seed every inch just to see if I can get something to come up. If they all come up, then I'll just thin them later. Won't be too difficult. Get some good seed to soil contact. Slightly firm it down. We'll set this to the side. And start on the next one. We'll do some kale on this one. Some Blue Ridge kale. Lacinato kale. Coastal Star Romaine Lettuce Heads. Probably only put a couple in here. See if I can get something to cut and come again maybe. Just for a couple salads. And if they all come up, then I'll just thin them. Soil contact, firm it up, firm it up real good. Got some Cherokee lettuce. Kind of like this pelleted seed, makes it a lot easier to get these seeded. Some people don't like that because it's harder to germinate, but once you get that clay outside shell off of it, which you need to water it quite a few times to get it to soak it up, make sure it's got moisture there and it'll eventually come off there. You won't have nothing to worry about. Paris Island Romaine Lettuce is the other half of this tray. I mean, hopefully if it comes up, it'll make a nice little salad mix. These aren't pelleted. They're really easy to overseed. And if they all come up, then I'll just thin them, like I said. No big deal. Alright, now that I got those all seeded, I'm going to get some uh, perlite and top them all and water them in real good.
keep an eye on how deep you bury them. Some of them say a quarter inch, some of them you really don't need very much on these little seeds. Now if you didn't want to use perlite, you can just use the seed starting mix you got and just dust it. You don't have to use this. I've just had really good luck with this and I'm sticking with it. Now you want to water these in really good, get some good moisture on top, and then none of these trays have holes in the bottom. So I'm just going to have to watch carefully and check the moisture of the soil before I water each time just to make sure they need it. Okay, that about wraps it up. Now I'm going to get this all cleaned up and put these back on the under the lights over here and try to keep you updated on Instagram. It's not a pro gardener, just like my YouTube channel, not a pro gardener. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notifications every time I come out with a new video. Thanks.